Hey, what's up you guys? It's Simon. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing um, a little sort of thing I've been seeing on Instagram called like, I think it's just like Instagram chooses my OC or like, hey, let's make an OC is the um, most popular one I'm seeing lately. It's just like this template of like this blank person and it will have um, like the first through eighth comment will decide the characteristics of your OC. So uh, I'm going to go into which ones were chosen for this specific character. This is actually the second time I did this. The first time I did it, it was like this little like mint chocolate chip dog named Joey. Um, and then I decided to do it again because I had so much fun with the first one that I thought it would be really interesting to make a video based on it and I actually had a lot more fun with this one. I did like Joey obviously but um, the characteristics I guess that were chosen for this OC were um, a little bit more in my comfort zone or I just had an easier time sort of stylizing them and making them my own so I do like how this one turned out a little bit more but anyway, let's get into the characteristics. So basically, what it does is, like I said, it's the first through the eighth comment. So everybody will comment on the post, and then you'll go in order, and that will decide um, what species your character is, what their color scheme is, their clothes, their name, their hair, their gender, their personality, and a random fact about them. So the species that we got was... Um, a fairy I believe and then the color somebody wanted me to do like really cool toned colors um, and then the outfit was like supposed to be um, they specifically said like a baggy jumper so I think that's like a sweater <laughs> that's what I did um, I think it's like English or like European for like a sweater I think that's the American equivalent <laughs> so I did a sweater but yeah so then the name um I got two comments that were a name and because I didn't do a good of a job as checking up to see like who commented first I decided to combine the two names so the first comment that I saw not necessarily the first comment that popped up was the name Kalani or Kalani or something and I thought that was really really pretty and then someone else commented a few different names. There was like Luna, um, what was it? It was like Luna and May and Maggie and Rose. And I thought Kalani or Kalani Rose was really pretty. So that's her name. Um, I really like that. And then the next one that we got was her hair. And somebody wanted it to be green space buns, obviously, because I'm saying her over and over again. Her gender is female. Um, her personality, I got two different ones as well, so I tried to do my best to combine them. We got one that said that she was tough and confident, and the other one was that she was a mischievous dreamer disaster bottom, which I thought was really funny. I really liked that one. So I tried to combine her to just sort of be like this tough, but also like exactly like it says, like mischievous, sort of like really... Um, uh, I don't know, just kind of like cute and sneaky sort of personality. Oh, I forgot her freckles. Oh no, I'm going to add freckles later. I'll add them when I post them to Instagram, but somebody else also suggested that she has freckles. It's not really like um one of the specific subgroups, so that's probably why I missed over it, but I did want to add those. And then the last few I think are her... Oh yeah, the last one is just a random fact about her. That might be... The freckles, actually. I think I missed that one. <laughs> oh, no, the fun fact was that she likes walking in the woods and taking care of creatures. I remember now. It's been a while since I've drawn it as I'm recording this. But anyway, so yeah, the last one was that she um, likes to take care of creatures, so that's why I gave her a little bunny in her arms. But basically, so uh, once I got all of the characteristics chosen for me, uh, I started sketching, obviously. Um, I really like this uh, sort of format, I guess, for like a character design challenge because a lot of the choices and main aspects, I guess, of the character are out of my control, but because they're out of my control, it's also kind of nice because it's like, oh, now I have like the base idea and I get to choose, I guess, how I want that to be presented. Like, um, for an example, because uh, I was supposed to give her a really baggy sweater, that is what I did, but I also thought it would be really cute to, like, 
um, put a button up underneath it, like sort of layer it because that would be really cute. And then uh, for the space buns, space buns, my Roomba, excuse me guys. I'm sorry about that. My Roomba is on a timer, so I never really know when it's going to wake up and decide to vacuum. And it just decided to vacuum right outside my door and scream at me. So, apologies for that. Anyways, so, um, what was I saying? I think, uh, oh yeah, the design choices. Um, so yeah, I just sort of, uh, got to experiment a little bit more. Oh, her space buns. That's where I was. <laughs> um, Space buns are normally like a really like tight sort of design, but I thought it would be cute. I know a lot of the time I do space buns, it's either super tight or I do like I have all of her hair down and I give her bangs and I still give her bangs. I don't know why I give so many of my characters bangs. I just really like to do it. But um, I decided to pull her hair up more instead of having it down and then just have two little strands to the side of her face to sort of like frame it a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting and not necessarily draw it completely how I always draw it. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, and then there was also the aspect of uh, trying to get her personality incorporated into an illustration. Um, a lot of the time, if I take a commission, I'll ask you guys if it's for a character that I don't know. Um, a little bit about a Bert, <laughs> a little bit about their personality before I actually do the illustration because it just helps me figure out how to uh, pose the character, how to uh, I suppose direct their expression. Like uh, for example, if someone told me, now this is literally the farthest from the truth. I know exactly who Sasuke is. I think everybody knows who Sasuke is. But, um, if, for example, this was in some dark world where I don't know who Sasuke is, and somebody told me to draw him, and I didn't know who his personality was, I could have easily drawn, like, a very, like, smiley, very cutesy, happy, almost, like, Naruto-esque Sasuke, and that wouldn't have been good, because while there are scenes, obviously, where he's happy, his main, uh, facet, I suppose, of his personality is he's very... Um, he's very cold and grumpy almost, so uh, if I were to draw like a super happy bubbly Sasuke, unless someone specifically was like, please draw him happy because it makes me sad that he is sad, um, sort of thing, then uh, that wouldn't really work. So I definitely like the idea that the OC challenge sort of thing uh, incorporates the aspect of a personality. So the way I did that, um, so it said that she was like sort of tough and confident and mischievous. So uh, I scraped up her knees and her cheeks a little bit and I put band-aids all over her body. And I thought that was um, a good way to sort of express that she is like a rough and tumble sort of girl. I also put big old combat boots on her. I could have put like little booties on there, but I figured because she's wearing shorts, um, that having longer boots was sort of, um, I guess just stylistically better, aesthetically better, um, just so that there wasn't like a lot of blank space and like on the outfit, I guess. I just felt like it would frame the character better and make her look a little bit more interesting to be wearing like super short shorts, but then like super long boots. And also uh, the fact that their combat boots are my attempt at drawing combat boots, if you guys can't tell. I really need to work on shoes, but um, uh, I tried to draw combat boots sort of thing so that, again, it would emphasize that sort of tough and mischievous aspect of her personality. So getting into the actual like pose and composition, um, I know I wanted to like have her sort of half sitting because she's a fairy. I figured she'd probably like float midair and that was like kind of an excuse to just draw a character floating in space but um i figured she would kind of float but also sit at the same time so i didn't want to have her in a full sitting position but i also didn't want to have her in a full standing position either so i kind of did like a sort of in between where she's just kind of leaning back and sitting at the same time i don't know but um i really liked the actual pose i should have used a reference i uh i'm sure you guys can tell when i'm sketching that I do struggle a little bit with um, moving her legs around quite a bit. Um, 
if I had a reference, I'm sure that would have been a little bit easier, but uh, I am trying to sort of work back and forth between moving from, or working from reference and without reference to sort of just like teach myself a little bit more about anatomy because I don't want to rely too heavily on, um, I just, I've been saying references. I don't want to rely too heavily on references, but I also don't want to not use them at all. So this was one of the attempts where I tried to not use a reference, and I don't think it was terrible. Um, I did use one for her arms, but that was just because I don't know how to hold a rabbit. Um, I've never seen anybody hold one. Uh, well, obviously I've seen one, but like not regularly enough to the point where I'm like, yes, this is how you hold a rabbit, and this is what it looks like when you hold one. <laughs> so I did use a reference for her arms, but for her legs and her head and everything else, I did not use a reference because, like I said, I'm trying to mix back and forth in between. So it was a little bit um, rough, but I do still like how it turned out, and I do like the composition as well, her just sort of being tilted on screen however I really need to work on backgrounds you guys I don't know if you can see um, <laughs> towards the end I don't know if you guys will see that I hesitated for a really long time before I finished finished the illustration and I just tossed that pinky purple um, sort of circle fade in the background that is one of the biggest things I do when I don't know how to fill it, fill it, <laughs> when I don't know how to finish off an illustration, I will just add a color of a square or stripes or a circle or something in the background so that it doesn't look as empty, but it also is like really lazy and I really do need to work on my background so that is something that I do intend to do more of. Um, one more critique I do want to say her band-aids. Um, I made them like sort of warm tone. Obviously you guys can see that I did like a pink and a yellow because the um, color scheme I suppose was specifically chosen to be a cool color scheme. I thought it would be good to bring in just subtle hints of a warm tone but I kind of regret it because it does look a little bit out of place. Um, I wish I added more purple so I was thinking as I was doing the uh, scripting sort of for this voiceover that uh, if I had done maybe like a dark bluish purple instead that would have brought more purple into the illustration and it also would have made it a little bit more cohesive rather than just having like that random pink and yellow thrown in. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that is about it for this video you guys. I hope you liked it. I really liked making her. I'm so glad that you guys helped me make her. Thank you so much for those of you who commented on the original Instagram post and helped me to create this wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful girl, Kalani Kalani Rose. I don't know. I love her. I think she's really cute. I had a lot of fun making her. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching me make her. And um, if you want to have fun and watch more of my stuff, be sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos on the channel. I've got like more than 50 now. And that was like towards the beginning of this year, so I might have like close to 60, which is insane. I have so many videos for you guys to watch, so please go ahead and check those out. Um, and speaking of checking things out, if you want to check out my Patreon, I would really, really greatly appreciate it. I have so many cool things on there like illustrated wallpapers, tiled wallpapers, commission discounts, video shoutouts exclusive polls, things like that. If you're interested in any of that or just supporting me in general, please go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Simon AES Arts. And I want to give a sh big shout out to my patron Elise Thompson. Thank you so much for continuing to support me every single month. I love you guys and I will see y'all next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>